Hi guys, uh, welcome to talentorigin.com. This is Harish. Today we'll see how to install an IDE and we'll uh, see how to set up an IDE. In my tutorials, I'll be using PyCharm IDE and uh, I'll, I'll show you how to set up PyCharm IDE with uh, your machine. Let's just open your favorite browser and log into Google. Just type in PyCharm. The first uh, search result would be your PyCharm IDE web page. There, once you go there, you'll you'll be seeing two different versions of PyCharm available, uh, of community edition as well as professional edition. And select your uh, flavor of operating system. I'm using a Mac OS, so I'll be selecting Mac OS. Under that, un under that, I'll be using community edition for uh, my entire tutorial. Just uh, download. Uh, community edition and yes my download has just started uh, let me just pause the video here and uh, once the download is complete uh, uh, we'll re resume how to set up the IDE in your machine my download is almost almost complete uh, yeah my download is ready now let me just double click it and my installation uh, is starting straight away I'm just installing it in my Mac machine and just open and my PyCharm community edition it this is the first initial setup I don't have anything set up right now so I'll just uh, I do not have previous versions of PyCharm or I don't want to import my settings and just I'll just click OK and this PyCharm is opening it's loading once this is up uh, as my machine is Mac OS I'll just use uh, map OS X key map and uh, coming to IDE theme there are a default theme and Dracula theme I personally prefer to have a, a Dracula theme okay you can see that preview here my Dracula theme would be a, a dark one uh, so I think it's still loading usually it will be a dark theme like this let me just uh, try it opening uh, uh, in the dark theme itself I'll just prepare and it will ask, ask to restart your uh, ID I'll just click yes okay let it just open now you can see uh, the dark setting is there now to configure your uh, PyCharm just go to configure and let it open you'll go to preferences here I got it in preferences I would like to go to uh, interpreter project interpreter and here we should uh, select the python framework where uh, uh, our python is installed it will automatically detect your uh, installation of python which is exported in your uh, path so i have uh, installed my anaconda version of anaconda distribution of python which i have selected now i'll just uh, click apply and let it apply and click ok right now now this uh, uh, python interpreting would be updating and uh, we'll push it to the background and now let's see how to create a project you just click on the project create new project i'll just select python tutorial and uh, this is the version of python i would like to use this is my python version 3 and i'll just use create now my python IDE is loading and it will take a couple of times uh, for setting up the initial uh, uh, process so let's be patient and you can see the progress bar here you can see it is trying to index the files and initial setup always takes a couple of minutes so you have to be a little patient with the initial setup and uh, and let's 
once this is created uh, I'll just try to create a package or a folder here I'll try to create a Python package select it and let me see basics I'll just create Python basics right and I'll click OK under this directory let me just create a file python file and i'll set it up as python i'll just use hello world and just give enter you don't have to give an extension ide will give the extension by itself right now let me just try to execute it print hello world I can just right click on my uh, here you should be able to see a run option as my indexing is still going on uh, I'll not be getting any or any options uh, uh, run options or anything so let's wait uh, till this indexing is done and we'll proceed I'll show you how to run your Python code now you can see uh, my indexing is done and now uh, my Python interpreter is getting updated uh, so as I told you initial setup would take a little time in uh, IntelliJ or uh, PyCharm uh, Let's just wait for a couple of more minutes uh, and see Actually as this uh, it is updating Python interpreter, but it should not uh, stop us from uh, running the code only indexing would uh, stop. Let me just uh, right click on my uh, IDE and select hello world and there you go and you can see hello world printing suppose if I want to say welcome to python tutorial from Harish or let's see talent origin okay let me just print it out you can just right click and select run hello world and you can see it's printing straight away right so in this video we have seen how to uh, install and set up PyCharm IDE uh, okay that's it for today uh, for this video and uh, see you in the next video bye guys